Good morning, guys. Welcome to today's video. I I I read my book in two weeks. Yeah, it takes Gabby two weeks to read a book. The only reason it takes so long is because she reads it for 30 minutes each day. You'd read it in a night if you actually just had unlimited time to read your book. Yeah, well, half of it in a night. Yeah, like Gabby's a reader, I'm a reader, Sophie's not a reader, Sam is not a reader. Do you like reading? No. No, but do you read lots? I only like my book. Yes. My book isn't good. If your book is not good? Oh, well then, did you like the last one in that series? Well, we'll get more books. Don't have to finish reading a book that you're not enjoying. Okay. We'll get you a different book. Sometimes people think that you have to finish a book even if you don't like it, but you don't, you guys, because especially at Sophie's age where she's really not into reading, I want her to enjoy every single second of every book that she reads. And when I get a book that I can't read, I stop because I don't want to read. I mean, sometimes it gets better, but it's just not worth it to me. So we will get you a new, a fresh Stacey book. Books start out, Why don't you start reading the Stacey Gray books? I think they're ready. Break. I have bird poop on my shirt. Yeah, that's and great. And your leg. And my leg. Yeah, that's fabulous. Thanks, <laughs> Levi. But you know what? It is worth it to me to be spending time with my bird who only poops on me. Oh my goodness. Anyway, so... We are doing homeschool and some people um, are interested in hearing about our homeschool day and what we are experiencing or learning. Um, Gabby, what are you working on? Um, times tables. Times tables. See, I learned them all, but then I forgot them tables. over summer, so. Okay. You have to do this whole shit at times tables. Okay, so let me explain. Let's start back at the beginning. I'm gonna show you guys just a quick view of what we do. So this is what we do every single day. Um, this is our January routine. So we do read aloud together. Um, it's our morning meeting. We meet in the morning. We do our read aloud. We do our Bible together. We also do um, some reading. Right now we're doing pioneers and we're reading about them. We're learning about them. Um, so our morning will consist of our pioneers, our Bible. Uh, we were doing health. Oh, we do do health. Um, we're le learning about puberty, you guys. We're doing sewing, which we haven't started, and we do French. So we do all these things first thing in the morning, kind of together, kind of casually. Um, then every single day, the girls have independent work daily. They do a copy work. It is Bible copy work. Um, our Bible copy work pages look like this. It's basically just a Bible verse, and the girls have to copy it. Um, then they do times tables worksheets. They do spelling, um, they do French, they do math, and they do language. So all of this stuff is done on their own. These ones I mostly spend do, helping them, but the rules are they have to read the instructions, try and figure it out, and then we work together. Um, every day is a rotation for math and language. So on Mondays they do grammar, Tuesdays they do vocabulary, uh, Wednesdays they do reading comp comprehension and on Thursdays they do writing. It might sound confusing but it works for us. So basically it's like a big schedule. Girls can follow it on their own so if I needed to do something else or be someplace else like if I was in the hospital or something they'd be able to just go to their work without me. So uh, the only exception to our rules, uh, Gabby's doing spelling right now and part of her spelling is writing definitions. So this is an um, our illustrated children's dictionary that Gabby will use for definitions and show them what you found in that book. I love this book because it is illustrated and it has like the best pictures ever. Gabby just Different found types of saddle. under Different the S's types. saddles. No, under the T's. Oh, under the T's. For tack. Oh. It shows you the different parts. Under the T's for tack, she found saddles and yeah. tack and all that kind of stuff. Do you like that dictionary? I need no. Either. Because you don't like any dictionaries? I don't like any. Dictionaries, no. Sophie is working on, what are you working on? Grammar. Grammar. Another change in the schedule is if the girls finish a book at night, then the language they do the next day is a... School thing, so we do like... Is a book report. The thing, and then no math, and this is longer than both of them. Yeah, so when they do a book report, they don't do math that day because the book report takes a long time. I'm gonna show you our format for our book report. So this is just something that we do. Um, it is an easy way 
to help the girls learn to write stories. Um, the format that we follow for our book report is Somebody Wanted But So When. Wait. Somebody Wanted But So Then. And so basically somebody is the main character, wanted, what did they want, but then what happened, so then. Um, and then I also added where, which I need to tell Gabby. <laughs> Do you like doing book reports? No. They're long. Yeah, they're long. Um, one thing you guys should know is that even though this might seem super simple for a girl that's in grade six, um, her, the requirements for Gabby's book report is a lot different than the requirements for Sophie's book report. You can adapt things for different ages. Uh, another thing that happens in, in homeschool is that when you're starving and you need a snack, you eat a pear. You eat a pear. You eat some fruit. I cut off. Okay. okay guys, so I have to write stuff about the book here and then I have to add it all together on this page. Yeah, so Gabby's story. Yeah, so Gabby's book reports are really long, hours long. It takes her forever. So um the other thing you guys should know about our homeschool is that there's no time limit. It can take them a, a long time to get all of that done, or it can take them a short time to get that all that done. And some days we add in extra things. So um, it's all up to them. If they want to be done in four hours and be done at noon, um, then they can. If they want to take till three o'clock and not have any um, extra like fun time in the afternoon, then they can. But usually they, they do pretty good. We do it in like four yeah. hours. Okay, yeah. Good. Another thing I forgot to show you is this. Every single year we do times tables and it's because, I don't know about you guys, but I forget them. Like if we don't use them and do them every single year, we forget them. So this is an ongoing thing. Gabby and Sophie both do this. Basically we get the same page. This is the six times tables and they do this every single morning um, until they can do the whole sheet by memory. We have done this so many ways. Like uh, we've done apps, we've done games, we've done everything like, uh, to get them to memorize these. It's, it's a hard thing, especially because it's not interesting. Um, but doing these pages every single day it's until fun. they master them. Gabby likes it, Sophie hates it. And um, it, it works, it works for Gabby. By memory. Yeah, you but one thing you guys should know is that education should be based on Since individual, should be based on individual growth. All kids grow and learn at different paces. They all are doing different things at different times and that's what's most important, finding the way that works for them and going with it regardless of what other people are doing. So I just want to tell you guys that because I know I'm going to get comments saying, Gabby should be doing this and Sophie should be doing that. But what's important to us in our homeschool is learning at their own level and and pace and their own way As, and that is why we homeschool especially since Sophia is level four I mean grade four yeah mine grade six. six yeah all right guys it's Nana time Nana's got her be beautiful bundle of joy look at those lips look at his cute hair Look at how big he's getting you guys like he's just growing so much. I love this outfit So cute So we are at Nick and Jesse's uh, clearly because we needed to have some baby snuggles the people that um, The company that I got my wheelchair my walker and all that stuff from are coming to pick it up and it's at our old house So uh, Sam's there waiting for them to pick it up and I'm here with this guy I think I haven't seen him for two days and it has been a hard two days. But anyway, um, that is it for this vlog. But I want to show you guys, obviously, um, the rest of Kaylee and Gabby's um, video from yesterday. Uh, lesson. Yeah, we had to break it into two videos. Um, anyway, the big, huge plot twist was that Kaylee is now taking lessons with race car driver. And um, the lesson got crazy fast like he is a crazy trainer like did you feel pushed by him because Sophie wait till you see her lesson so crazy but anyway um I want you guys to watch it and comment below what you think good and bad obviously but um yeah it was amazing and there was a lot of high energy in that lesson we left that lesson and the girls were flying um with excitement because so much went on but anyway that is it we'll see you guys uh tomorrow bye bye Bye.
wanna hear about your lovers How many rum and coke you had before you got to fill her up Oh, oh, oh Let's go! And I don't wanna hear about your crew There's much more important stuff for everyone to listen to Oh, oh, oh Let's go! Turn back, time, do it over again Just turn back, time, do it over again We need to turn back, time, do it over again I know, you know, you know, I know Not true, Sophia. Okay, do it. <laughs> you know that's not true, Sophia. Well, that is true for sure. Oh, you're already regretting that. Oh my god. <laughs> Gabby, you did that before. You did that yes last week. That's our deal. I'll go with you. Okay. Oh my god. See what a good friend Kaylee is. I got in trouble. Gabby has to get off and do a lap because she refused. Just to go fast and straight and you'll do it. Okay? Fast and straight and you'll do it. I don't wanna hear about your lovers. How many rum and coke you had before you got to fill her up? Oh, oh, oh. Let's go! And I don't wanna hear about your crew, there's much more. Kaylee lost her stirrup over the first jump, regained it before the second jump. No, didn't she lose her stirrup before the jump and then yeah. regained it over there. the first jump?
Don't need. Why? Don't you need your spurs? No, not when he's bolting at them. Not when he's bolting at them? Yes. He's going fast. Your horse like, is bolting? At them, yes. He's too fast. And when I tell you my range, he just fights them. Is, is race car driver okay with this? <laughs> Kaylee, how did you feel like you did? <laughs> Wait till you see the video. You looked so good. You lost your stirrup over it. I'm like, oh, oh my first jump, my stirrup was gone over the jump. I dropped my leg, had this leg out of my scoop. Yeah, that was amazing. Come on, you can do it. Storm took it in one stride. He took a jump in one stride, and, it, and it, she almost fell off. For nothing, didn't claim all that space. Oh yeah. Turn back, time to it over again. Just turn back, time to it over. Make it go, make it go, circle back, make it go. We can't go. Keep going. What do we be better? Without them, what the talk, what the brag, what the putting down. Ow, ow, ow. Of course. And would we be better off in a world where the good for nothing didn't claim all that space? Oh, yeah. Let's go. Turn back, time, do it over again. Just turn back, time, do it over again. We need to turn back, time, do it over again now. You guys, this is the most terrifying drive home ever, please God. We're, we're on the we're on the side. Them. I can see the side of the road. I can see. See when the lights coming toward us, it's not too bad. Going that way is probably Oh easier. gosh. Oh gosh. You guys. Calm down. Okay, so when they we're driving home from the barn and when the snow really gets going, it's like you're in the middle of the road and you're seasick. He's like literally in the middle of the road. Yeah, because we can't tell where we are. I mean, it was worse than this. Go slow her. Like if there's what? a vlog tomorrow, we lived. Yeah. Oh, we're on the side of the road, it feels like. No, oh, no, look down, road. mom. There, look at that, you guys. Imagine driving in that. You look back? out there and you just feel sick to your stomach. Oh, you know, I know.